What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends figure review on the Avengers Age of Ultron Movie Infinite Series Amazon exclusive 4 pack set. This set includes Thor, Black Widow, Bruce Banner, and Marvel's Hawkeye. I do like how we get the Avengers initiative right over there at the very bottom. And then on the side right over here you get this image in red and you see all 4 characters but of course Bruce Banner's in his Hulk form over there. And then on the back of the packaging you can see that there's a read up on Thor, if you want to read it pause it now. And then on the other side of the packaging you can see the same red image right over there. Alright let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Thor out of the packaging, the most anticipated figure for me from this box set. I really like this figure a lot. I think Hasbro did a really good job with this one. I think that Hasbro's trying to let us know that we need three kit bashed figures to make one brand new figure with this box set. No? Right? I don't know, because I don't see any reused sculpted parts or anything like that on this guy, so it looks like a brand new piece through and through. I guess aside from a Mjolnir, Mjolnir looks like it's reused, but aside from that brand new figure. I really like it. Really good articulation. I can't say it's my absolute favorite Thor figure just because I can't get his head to look up. So, but other than that, a really good piece. Anyway, let's take a closer look at Mjolnir, then we'll take a closer look at Thor. And here's looking at Mjolnir. It looking really cool with this brown and silver right there on the handle. I really like that a lot. I think that looks pretty good. You get that texture detail right over here too. Some nice silver for the hammer itself. Then to compare them to the other Mjolnirs, this one has this really cool look right here. I think this is the one that came with the Avengers Movie Walmart exclusive version, but I really like how it has this really nice silver dry brushed kind of tone to it, so that's pretty awesome. Then this one has the most matted looking silver on it, and I think this is from the first Thor movie figure. I may have these two confused. If you know, let me know in the comments. So I can't say I think this head sculpt nailed the likeness of Chris Hemsworth. I don't see Chris Hemsworth in here very much. Paint came out really clean I think, uh, especially around the eyes and the eyebrows and the beard and everything. So I like that we get these sculpted little details right there for the beard too. The highlights for the hair I think looks great. Fortunately there's a paint splotch though which I'll show in a second but looking at this looks really nice. Really good sculpt over here. I really like the highlights of the blonde and all that. Looks really good. Do get this random red splotch right there which is a little annoying but really not the worst thing in the world. And then coming around here you can see the cape has this nice texture to it. It's kind of hard to see but the light bounces off of it in a kind of a strange way. I think it looks really neat. On the inside of the cape you could really see that it has this like fake fabric kind of thing going on. Now looking at the whole armored section right here, this looks great man. I love the gold paint. The silver came out really cool. The sculpted detail as far as getting all this stuff together looks really, really nice. Very pleased with this. I like that we get the little touches of blue right there too. I think that's awesome. Beautiful red trim right there on the collar. Very nice flesh tone. No shading or anything. I would have liked to have that. And then the gauntlets over here look really good. It's a very bright gold color paint by the way. Then you get some sculpted detail right over there. The red came out pretty good on the arms. So yeah, looking really nice. And then this piece again, some more navy blue. Got the mesh right there on the legs. Kind of disappears a little bit when you get to this upper part. Same thing on this side. Gets a little fuzzy, you know, but it's a lot more defined right here on the thigh. Then nice gold paint right here on the legs. Looks really good. A lot of sculpted details in this. I really like it a lot. Treads at the bottom of the feet. Even looking at the back of the figure over here, they kept up a lot of sculpted details. Not a whole lot of paint though, of course, because it's being covered by the cape. That makes sense this time around, you know, that can't bother me too much. But yeah, just looking at the figure all in all, I mean, it's just got this really nice color palette to it. Just feels like a very complete, good looking figure. Uh, you can't really get him to look up so much. Barely looks up, looks down only a tiny bit as well, as you can see that little space right there between the hair and the cape. You get side to side movement, which is tricky to move. So the head articulation on this figure is a little finicky, but still workable. And then you get the shoulder articulation where it can move all the way up that much. You can get the shoulders moving all the way down, which is pretty cool. I've had that problem before. I didn't think I can get the arms all the way smushed, but they're smushed. You can get his arms moving upward only that much. They do get hindered by this whole cape piece right here. So, well, you can keep them moving up, but it starts flailing out. You get a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, the wrists swivel side to side. Both wrists have an up and down hinge, like rolling the dice or smack of the hammer, like that kind of motion right here. And same thing 
with this side right there. You get this diaphragm joint that rotates side to side. You can crunch forward and can crunch back. You do get some pivot right over here. He has hip joints that move outward. He can kick forward that much, kicks back a little bit. You get an upper thigh swivel, and then you get double jointed knees. Ankles move down, up, and he has ankle pivot, which is the first movie Thor figure I had from Marvel Legends where he has ankle pivot. Now this Thor figure stands pretty tall. Another reason I really like it, he's standing at about seven and a half inches. Then here's a new cinematic Thor figure compared to the first Thor movie figure, and then we have the Avengers movie Thor figure over here. I feel like this one's face sculpt actually looks closer to Chris Hemsworth than any of these other ones. Now, if you really want to have the helmeted Thor on this figure, you can swap them, and I did it earlier, and I actually thought it looked all right. So it doesn't stick here, so you'd need sticky tack or something like that to get it on there, but, you know, I'm a big fan of Thor wearing the helmet, so I still wish he would. You know, I actually even told Chris Hemsworth in person. Uh, it was just kind of clumsy, you know? Yeah. It looks cool, though. Bring it back! Bring it back. Bring it back, man! <laughs> so with that response, I guess it's never gonna happen. And here's our new Legends Thor compared to the Marvel Select Dark World Thor, and I believe the Age of Ultron Thor figure from Marvel Select has the same body mold. And then here he is standing next to the Avengers movie Figma Thor. And then here's Thor next to the other figures from this box set. And I don't know if you can tell, but I did straighten the legs on the banner figure right there. I think that looks a little bit better. And you can see how tall and mighty this Thor figure is compared to the rest of these reused body molds. And then here's Thor next to all of the Avengers Age of Ultron. Ultron Marvel Legends figures that we've gotten from Hasbro and I think Hasbro has done a really good job with this movie And then here's Thor next to the Marvel Legends big time let down spider-man. Hey Thor I think I could try to lift that hammer too, huh? I bet I could do it All right, okay Oh my god, I just farted on Thor's hammer. And then here's Thor with a Disney Store exclusive Marvel Select Thor Mjolnir accessory with this effect. And I like how that looks. I forgot who did it on Instagram, but I stole this idea from somebody I saw on Instagram posting it like this. And that looked really awesome. And I think it really works. It wouldn't work so well if they did not have that roll of the dice hinge on the wrist. So I'm really happy that they did that. And I hope you guys are happy with my review. If you are, please hit the like button. Click any of the boxes right over here if you want more shart in your face. If you're 18 years or older, please check out the Patreon account. Your help is much appreciated. Follow me on Facebook. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to MarvelousNews.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.